Younger people who end up battling COVID might experience different symptoms than adults who get infected. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us about a college freshman who suffered a seizure while back here in Buffalo on winter break. I thought that my daughter was dying in my arms. A nightmare moment for Adrian Romanowitz of Buffalo as she watched her 18-year-old daughter, Eva, suffer a seizure while ill with COVID. I am here and I'm alive. Eva created this video for a college course. She had been living in New York City while attending her first year at Hunter College for all remote learning. But Eva and her boyfriend had most recently been quarantined in a bedroom at her mom's Buffalo home after coming down with mild cases of COVID. Her mom says on New Year's Eve, she was feeling better. But a short time later, Eva lapsed into a seizure. And after that, she was unconscious for at least another minute. And honestly, it felt more like a couple of years. Eva's younger sister, Gray, called 911. I was trying to pry my daughter's mouth open um, with my fingers so that I could get her to breathe. Emergency crews brought Eva here to Buffalo General Hospital. She underwent a battery of tests for the seizure, but all came back negative. But they did not see any um, abnormalities at all. Um, so, you know, we can assume that this probably was from uh, COVID. Any severe viral illness um, can lead to situations it trigger a seizure in somebody. Buffalo pediatrician Dr. Rachel Kaufman says normally it is children under the age of five with fevers who are most at risk of seizures. It's much easier uh, for a child's brain to be induced into a seizure uh, due to rapid temperature changes than it is to an adult just because of the nature of a growing brain as opposed to a mature brain. Romanowitz says her daughter never had a fever. Eva is back at home recovering. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.